An NPC in my game, the Rift of Nysteria, just didn't feel quite alive enough, so I had to do something about it. I decided to create blinking and mouth movement animations, but was struggling with importing them from Blender to Godot. I couldn't find any resources about it, so I made one myself, once I figured it out. At first I wanted to animate vertices with hook modifier. You choose which one you want to animate, create new hooks from them, and then you can just do it. Easy, right? If it was that easy, I wouldn't be making this video right now. Because there is one issue. After importing them to Godot, hooks are no longer there. Because Godot doesn't understand them. It doesn't know what to do with them. That's why we have to try a different approach. And the new approach I will be using in Blender is called Shape Keys. It has an equivalent in Godot called Blend Shapes. Shape Keys are a great tool that allow you to create essentially new mesh shapes and later blend between them. So I used them to create one mesh with eyes open and one mesh with eyes closed. So then I could blend between the two and create a blinking animation. Let me show you how it's done. It's helpful to first create a new vertex group which lets you easily select the vertices you want to edit. The first shape key you will create will be automatically assigned as basis, which as the name suggests, will let you blend between this base shape and other shapes you will create later on. So as you can see here I'm creating a new shape key, which as I have said before is automatically assigned already, um, and then I'm creating a new one which will be the one which I will be using for my animations. So I want to click it right now, go into edit mode, and then I can create a new shape. I want to create a shape with eyes closed, so I click vertices which I want to move, and move them to the new position. Now I want to do essentially the same with mouth, because I want to do the animation of him speaking. And that's a bit more complicated, because I'm using two objects for his mouth animation. Um, that is a beard, that will be also moving when he's talking, and his normal mouth. Because a beard is a new object, I have to create new shape keys for it. And the process for it is essentially the same as before. The thing that's unique here is that we are editing two objects at the same time. So we want to have all of them selected when entering the edit mode. And now when we are happy with our shape keys, we can go into an animation process. Now what you want to do is to create an animation for both eyes and lips. That's where the tricky part begins, so watch out, because in Blender I don't think it's very intuitive if you have not used this tool before, or you just haven't created any animations in Blender. We will start with the blinking animation first, as that's easier because it uses only one object. What you want to do at first is to create a new action. Click here the auto keyframe button, and now click here near the shape key value on the small button here, and that will allow us to animate it. You want to create a keyframe when the shape key value is zero, and a new one when the keyframe value is 1. And then at the end when the value is 0 again. We can see that there is a nice blinking animation going on now. What you want to do now is to go into the non-linear animation tab and click on the push down button near the blink animation. This allows you to create a new animation for the same object which of course will be the speaking animation. And now we want to create a new action for uh, the head and a beard, because when you speak, your head and your beard moves, if you have a beard, of course. I don't have a beard, so it's not my own experience, but I have asked uh, a couple of my friends that have beards, and they said, yes, their beards move when they speak. So that's why we are going to animate it as well. When action is created, you once again click on the small button next to the value of the shape key so that you can animate it. But now you click both a beard and a head as I have said before. 
Now all that's left to do is to once again add keyframes for the shape keys of both head and the beard. Once you have done it, you can do the same as before, so go into the non-linear animation tab and push down the animation you have just created. Now the last important part is to uncheck this box, which basically means um, these two animations, the blinking and speaking one, can move independently. Okay, that's basically all you wanted to do in Blender. Now you can export it to Godot. You can see my export preset here. What's important is to um, select the object you are exporting and click that all the animations are exported correctly. That's basically it. You can open your project in Godot now, open the object you are animating and all the animations should be there. If you want to see how I have made this model overall, don't forget to like, subscribe and um, comment down below. Right now I'm working on a Skyrim-like character creator, so you can also expect a video about it in the future. That's all for now, see you in the next video, bye!